Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use freeze pen option in Microsoft Excel. Here you can see I have fairly big data sheet of a company representing its employees and their details. As I scroll down, you can see the top row is invisible and I can no longer see what does this data represent now. And similarly, when I scroll to the right, names in the first column gets hidden and I no longer know whose salary is this and when it was hired. In order to overcome this issue, the freeze pen comes to our rescue. Go to view option and here you can see we have freeze pens. Click on freeze top row. What it actually does, it keeps the top row freezed. And now if you scroll down, you can see the top row is still visible. And again, if you go to view tab, click on freeze pens and you can unfreeze the top row. Similarly, the second option that you have right over here is freeze first column. If you click over it, then you can move to the right, but the first column would remain freezed. And this would be really helpful if your data consists of a lot of rows and columns. Let's go to view tab again and let's unfreeze it. Now the third option at the top is freeze pens. What this freeze pen option actually does, it freezes both the column as well as the rows. But to apply this particular option, you need to have a selection. Let me show you. If you select this particular cell, then it would freeze the top row and the column to the left. For example, you are interested to freeze the top row and the left column, then you need to choose this option. Let's go to view, freeze pens and freeze pens. Now you scroll down, you can see the top row is fixed. Similarly, if you scroll to the right, you can see the first column is fixed. So the freeze pen options would really help you if you have a fairly big data, which can no longer fit your screen. You can either scroll up or scroll down to see its details without an issue. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please leave a like, subscribe and thanks for watching.